Uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of energy from everybody um, just for us to have fun and actually, you know, pay attention to how um, this environment is going to be from going uh, this point forward. Um, I just really expect the chemistry to grow and keep growing that it's been doing and basically just have fun today. Um, I would say just have a lot of energy and me and Mal are seniors, so it's our last first official practice, so have a lot of fun. It's kind of bittersweet that this is kind of the last rodeo for us. For both of you, just being senior leaders with the other two, just what you guys are trying to do to, to make sure this season is what you want for your final year. Um, what me and Mal are trying to do this year is uh, have a lot more confidence than we did have last year. You know, we have a lot more girls this year. So those close games, you know, when we need that extra person to come in, help us out, we have those girls. You know, we want to make it to the tournament this year. That's our goal. You know, that's what me and Mal haven't done that <laughs> since the four years we've been here. So that's what we're really looking forward to. We kind of want to go out with the bang, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, uh, for this year, I feel like um, I just really want everybody to leave it all out on the floor. It's like, you know, we've been here for four years, so we know what it's like, and we really want everybody to get on with the program and actually have fun with this and enjoy it and have an enjoyable ride that the fans will, will gonna love and make it memorable and historical because we want to put Arkansas back on the map, and that's our plan <clears throat> to keep doing for this point forward. Talk about how competitive practice is with the addition of Rokia and uh, multiple players, Chelsea. How, how important is that to have depth and, you know, iron sharpens iron? like this, uh, you know, just the competition each day in practice? Oh, the, the competition and practice is really amazing. And we never really had that group of girls to actually go at it like we have. And we have more depth on the team. So it's pretty amazing to see and uh, see a lot of girls out there competing. And it actually, uh, it makes everybody better as a whole to see, you know, people going after rebounds, hustling, you name it. It's just really good to see. Growing up in the state of Arkansas playing basketball, you played against Alexis. Talk about the type of player that people will see in Alexis Tolfer. Uh, anybody, I mean, I mean, if you don't know Alexis Tolfer, she is a pure shooter and she can create her own shots. She has deep range. And that's something that we've been missing from our, our team. I mean, yeah, we had a lot of shooters last year, but we really lacked a shooting period. But, you know, with the depth of her shooting, it is amazing. And you guys gonna get to see that this year. Coach says he's charted the shooting and everything has improved as far as the number of players shooting above 50% in, in games. Have you seen that? What do you attribute that to for both of you? Well, the shooting thing is really outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's amazing to see and have more depth out there on the court and the confidence is that, and confidence in everyone's shooting. It's amazing how, you know, the numbers are rising. We didn't really have that last year, like I said once before, but the, the shooting chart is amazing. All I have to say to that is like the shooting chart, you're actually trying to make the ball in practice. You're not just shooting the ball. So you're actually trying to get your numbers up because that's what our coaches are looking at for us. You know, like you're going to play if you're up above 50 percent. And that's what we all are doing. There's so many girls. We're all competing for that one spot. You know, like it's a competitive, we're a competitive family and like we're going to play together. But, you know, you're competing against each other for that one spot to be on the court. How much better are you guys as a team from that Italy trip practices and the games that you guys got to play? We are a, a lot better, <laughs> I feel like. Um, we're a lot quicker. I mean, we were quicker, you know, gearing up towards Italy, but we are much faster. We can get off shots faster. We can get up the court faster. It's just a lot of uh, uh, faster shots, better, better everything, I feel like. Um, I feel like with that experience of us going to Italy, we had like additional practices. So we already have a mindset of who can play with who, like what people do, like we've already got a feel of actually being in a game-like situation. So I feel like that experience like put us ahead of most people we're gonna be playing. What was Italy like just off the court? Um, it was amazing. <laughs> it was one trip of a lifetime. We got to really experience like the culture there we got to see beautiful places, like the food was absolutely amazing. But overall, I, I loved it and I hope I get to go back one day. What are the differences in this team uh, in the second year in your coach Chambers? The difference, uh, the depth of the team is different. Um, 
the different environment that we have. I mean, it's better than last year because we have a lot more people. Um, it's a lot of it's it's a lot more energized, and it's not too much confusing because you know we were new, and now that you know we're here for a second year, it's very different. But it's not as different, and it's not different for those who came here this year. And it's a good environment to be in. Mal, how big is it for you to have you know have a backup? You played about forty minutes each and every uh, game. I mean, how? How big is it for you to lose five minutes and be able to play 35 really effective minutes? Uh, I don't, I, to be honest, I don't think it's a it's a, um, a big of a difference. I mean, I feel like, yeah, it would be cool to take some minutes off, but I still like to keep going. But it, to have somebody there to pick up my slack or just to come in whenever I'm tired is good to have now. Anything else for the players? Bailey, how would you describe Mal's game and what she means to this team? Um, Maline's a lot to our team. She's kind of our piece that holds us together. You know, she offers a lot to us. She's quick. I don't think there's anyone quicker than her. Um, yeah, Mal, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. She does everything for us. She can drive the ball. If we have a press, I don't even think there's five defenders that can stop her. She gets around all of them, so she's one Tough cookie to guard. <laughs> Coach Neighbor said her uh, leadership style is very direct and to the point. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, I think that's what you need sometimes, someone that points it right out, straight to the point, not shuffling around it. Just get straight to the point.